At the source of all life, there is water. On Mars, where it is rare, water is a source of conflict, struggle, and death. Since the turmoil, there have been unending wars, fought over the possession of clean water. We are the forgotten children of Earth, trapped in this red, barren wasteland. Here, hell is not a concept, it's our reality. And the reality is that every drop counts. Then there were the unfortunates, caught in the full power of the sun's radiation, forced to deform, mutate into unrecognizable monsters. The others, the ones who remained similar to our ancestors in likeness, hid under massive metal shells governed by water corporations. But in the slums, people's lives aren't worth much more than the mutants. And I would know. That's where I spent the first 10 years of my life, under the boot of the Vori. Of course, in despair, there is hope. Some have begun to explore, travel even, from corporation to corporation, leaving their loyalties behind. We have organization, structure, and inevitably, politics. We have rulers, a people's assembly, and far removed from us, the Dowser, the inaccessible face of abundance. And finally, there's us, the elite protectors of the people, the spearhead of the army, my brothers and sisters who all share the same special gift. We are Technomancers. Zachariah. Scott, you came. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Sure, my memory isn't what it... But I remember to write things down on my calendar. Although I do sometimes forget where my calendar is. Anyhow, I knew your last cadet mission was today. Any nerves? If it's any consolation. You look more than fit enough. No, I'm good. I'm ready. Mmm. -hmm. Yes, healthy flush of the skin. But eye movement, you don't look stressed out. Very well, I won't bother you anymore. Oh, but if I can bother you, just a moment. I recently acquired a batch of materials that can improve your gear. It's not much, but I thought you'd like it. You can't still, still can't believe you're going to be an officer soon. Yeah, me too. Thanks, Scott. It means a lot. Ah, I fear we've dilly dallied on. And trees. Your master, Sean, waits for you in the courtyard. <laughs> so stiff, that one. I fear his spine is concocted from steel. A spine prosthetic. How interesting. What if... Oh, and stop by the clinic and come shoot the chit-chat. No, no, that's not... Just don't be a stranger. If you feel ill or need a hand, come see me. I'm always glad to help. Good luck, my boy. Thank you, Scott. Will do. I promise.
fucking mansers. Every time they come around, something new is broken. I fix it, they break it again. I fix it, they break it first. I'm a modern fucking Sisyphus task pissing in the ocean. <laughs> Zachariah, today, as you know, marks your final mission as a cadet. I trust you are prepared. Of course, Master. Ready, willing, and able. And a little nervous. Normal and expected. That's why I have gathered together your usual instructors to allow you to warm up and prepare. It's for you to ace the tests for each fighting technique. Prepare yourself. And once you are ready, join me at the station. From there, a train will take us to the mission site. Thank you, Master. If you would like to practice your technomancy techniques or care to do some staff training, I have time. I'm always honored to learn what you have to teach. Excellent. I advise you to not try anything. to fight again I would love to another time master thank you of course keep in mind a well-trained staff can be quite formidable and as you know the control over our technomancy is what makes us unique How about a little self-defense training? Sure, why not? That's the spirit. Here we go. I'd advise you to not try anything. <laughs> Care to go again? Maybe later. Your call. You're gonna wish you had some good defensive training, though, when you find yourself in trouble. If you would like to practice your technique, a little brush up on my technique could never hurt. Indeed. Remember to attend to your surcharge risk. I would hate to have an accident. Would you 
care to fight again? I would love to, another time. Of course. Want to test your skills with a knife and a gun? Not really in the rule book, so if you do, need to be discreet. Let's do it. All right. I despise you. I despise you. <laughs> Go again? Another time, maybe. Don't underestimate stealth techniques, or how much faster you can be in combat with light weapons. I speak to someone in charge. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but no civilians are allowed in the barracks. If you have a question, you're gonna need to send it. Just... please. I'm Corporal Tyron's wife. He should have been back home yesterday, but... someone must know where he is. What's happened to him? Please! Ma'am, I have no idea. If you got a letter, I can pass it along. Other than that, though, you gotta go. Hey! Heard from Captain Sean you're heading out to the station. You leaving now? Yep, already ready. Oh, stop right there. We're conducting a search. Did you look at this piece of shit? Well, well, what do we have here? Huh? Road trash seems lost, don't it? You forget we don't want your kind around here, track. Sorry ass out of here before you find yourself bleeding from both ends. I'm sorry. I, I didn't. I didn't ask you to speak. Did I? You used this piece of shit. Why would I want to hear what you have to say? Please, please, please. I didn't. Shut your mouth and just fucking die. The corpse will feed the rats. At least then you'd have a purpose. Such a waste of life. A waste of space. Am I right? A rogue is a rogue is a Zack, right? You can dress him up, but... Zachariah, we're leaving. Certain people are graduating to the rank of officer today. It does you well to serve only contempt to one worthy of nothing more. That is good. And with that, we should be off. Look, Zack, we are heading for the dome. It was built by the first settlers, a relic itself. Then what's there for us? According to reports, looters, who in our interest, it would be best to keep out of the dome. Go through here. Zechariah, do you remember your first lesson? On the scarcity of life? Indeed, the very one. Kill a fellow unfortunate and, in this hell, only the more alone he will become. Disable the looters, but spare their lives.
We encroach our destination. Take note that enemy forces lie in wait. There, the rocky outcrop. Scale it and report back your findings. There are looters gathered at the dome's entrance, a lot of them, but they're not equipped to be more than a nuisance. Take care nonetheless, Zachariah. That guard there, separated from his group. Sneak on him and the battle will be easily won.
right thing to do. What do you mean? Am I not ready? No, you're ready, Zachariah. With that, there is no doubt. I worry about you and care for your happiness. Once you become a Technomancer, there's no going back. You lose your freedom. From the moment our abilities are brought into the light to the moment the light is snuffed from our eyes, the Technomancers are nothing but pawns on a chessboard. We have no free will. Abundance forces its will on us. I think about the future, how hard it will become as the ASC rises in power. And perhaps I'm just being paranoid. Forgive your master's little spell. You must focus on more important things. This door, it is the same as that in our chapel, accessible only to the combined energies of two Technomancers.
beyond the main room, where we must go.